Can we get you a film just for a minute? So what you want me to do? Say cheese? Yeah, that'd be all right. Well, cheese. Uh, what do you think about widespread panic? Widespread panic? Well, I guess it's all over the place. Well, see, actually, widespread panic is a band. They, uh, they're playing music over here at the Georgia Theater. I ain't, I ain't heard that band, but I guess I can buy the album. Behind the house, there's a pond. Describe the body of water to me. <laughs> oh my God, it's a swamp. <laughs> Warm. Pristine. How pristine? Oh, very. <laughs> <laughs> These molly cuddle genetic drift come in here, nickel rate, nothing okay. Did you count how many there were? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh God, five, we're six. being followed by the sixes. <laughs> Is this Question. one of those sensitive films? This is a sensitive film. What you, what are you most basically frightened of? You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking Sonny. Oh, man. This is a positive. <laughs> That's a positive. Needles is Fail there. Failure, then. Failure? Interesting, sir. What is failure? Yes, what is failure? Uh, not tipping enough. You <laughs> fear. Shorter Cheatham, my name. They call me Shorter Cheatham. And I've been in Athens since 1939. And I used to work in the theater in the 50s. I didn't have the rock and roll. It was on the screen. It ain't like it is now. But it's all right. In person, I like it. Well, I worked in the uh, eating place, you know, popcorn place and tour tickets, that's all I've done. That's when the popcorn was about 25 cents a box. And I used to sell it, and, you know, I had a lot of it popped up. 
and the manager wanted to know that I was going to sell a lot of popcorn. I told him, yeah. So I was selling two boxes for 50 cents. I sold it all, too. <laughs> yeah, I sold all the popcorn. Got honey, talk to you? Sure. All right. How you doing, Billy Bob? We're good. Come on here on the sidewalk. Get this uh, big rig behind you here. Now. Well, I think there's a, there's a trend of getting back to real music now played by real people. And uh, the 80s seem to be so sort of like computerized and so sort of technologically, uh, or where the technology took over the music. And now I think it's getting back and put in the hands of the musicians and the players and the way it should be, and I think people appreciate that, uh, the music that uh, affects you in your, in your heart, that, uh, and it's getting slightly away from dance music in the conventional sense. It makes me real happy.
got a lot of meat back there. Uh, let me ask you, is there uh, meat in these black eyed peas? Yes, it is. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. there's, there's meat in the peas. What about these collards? Uh, collard meat there? in the collards. There's, there's meat in those. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the, the pinto beans? Is there, is there meat, meat in those. Oh. What about the iced tea? Is there? Well, there's no meat in that. There's no meat in the no. tea? <laughs> I'm gonna have tea. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sam. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, he must be a vegetarian. <laughs> it was kind of loud, and there was a reflection. Yes. It's me. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. Well, have uh, fried chicken, pork chops, squash souffle, which is happening. Baked chicken and dressing. Green beans or string beans. And meatloaf. Two macaroni and cheeses. Ribs. Put in cornbread. Pintos. Black eyed peas. And collard green. Sometimes, if you come too late, you don't get any. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's some of my fans right here. <laughs> uh, everybody call me mom.
you know, some was flipping me out. We're on film. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of, uh, man, we were just talking to a lot of people yesterday. And, well, people were talking to us, saying, um, congratulations on being famous. We've <laughs> been with you since the beginning and stuff. And uh, a lot of focus on terms like, um, like being famous, being, um, being the next whoever band. To me, you know, it has, doesn't have a whole lot to do with myself or what I do, because um, I do what I do. Everybody does what they do. It's like, mm. and but then to judge them like what they are, and you come up with labels or terms like famous, it's you're selling yourself short, kind of cheating yourself with um, with preconceived notions that. Um, only apply to the to the way you've created things on your own, um, and that uh, you're creating a filter for what you actually are seeing, and that the truth. And this is just me talking, but the truth is um, it's worth getting down to, and it's worth shedding all the labels, all the cliches. And um, as far as fame goes, if you if you just keep your uh, keep your head and your ego down, and uh, fame is what it is. It's uh, there are a lot of a lot of famous people that never knew they were famous, and that's um, so the word pretty much stands in obviousness right there. The one image that's very consistent in this song is a discussion between death and the idea of death. Actually, it's a one-sided discussion. Um, I see a gentleman in a chair, and uh, and he's getting away. He's being pretty indignant towards death. He's not in. Death isn't invited. There's no politeness here in the, in the words. As far, well, it's an invitation to go away and take care of your own business. <laughs> but, um, and uh, that's, uh, death is, it can be just as motivating. You live every day like maybe that's your last. And in truth, that sounds like a cliche when I hear myself say it, but it's, uh, um, <laughs> at least you're guaranteed to try a little harder that day. My eyes won't pretend I didn't know you were close But I could smell your breath through a freshly painted door Stand there in your coat While I drink three more glasses Of burgundy and you Can lick the dust from my bottle Oh, I'm not begging for mercy I see no love or mercy in you I'm not begging for mercy I'm only waiting for the sound of the morning birds to send you away Hey, uh, I'm Barney Swenson. Hey, man, Domingo Ortiz. Nice to meet you. Hey, man, you know you just played the hell out of them Congo drums. Thanks. Uh, I've seen that Hilton Head play them Congo drums. Oh, Hilton Head, yeah. It's a cool place. 
Let me ask you if, um, say if I want to buy just one of them Congo drums. How much you set me back? What now? Say if, if I just want to buy one of those Congo drums, how much that set me back? Man, just one? Probably about $300. I used to play piano. You did? What made you give it up? I think I want to play Congo drums. Love was talking to a homeless drunk about religion. He said, it's all I've got, but it ain't much. Well, the way that I feel in these days I'd rather have a gun than a crush oh, Makes sense to me was a runaway Said oh, my daddy treated me like a slave Well they showed me my mama's bed When I was just 15 That's why I laid him in his grave That makes sense to me Makes sense to me What's mine? If I must bust some heads to achieve just as my righteous cause, we'll well explain the crime. Makes sense to me. from us I don't know anything else to say but that uh, we do it because it's all uh, all we we can do pretty much the wax it's cool hard sights growing past the yard in this house I make more shadows than you well, stand there in your haste While I pour from the second Burgundy and you Can rattle the glass cross
across the cage of your belly Oh, I'm not begging for mercy I see no love or mercy in you I'm not begging for mercy Of the morning birds to swallow you. I like that. Good. If you can, don't do it. <laughs> so I can say, just do what you can. If you can, just don't do it. That's all I gotta say about it. That's all I gotta say. Huh? <laughs>